Good morning, everyone. So I've decided to do a small session on um, a morning yoga. It's Saturday, I'm outside. I'm probably going to use different parts of, of the yard. It's so nice to practice outside. If you're planning to go jogging, if you're planning to have any activities today, it's nice to start nice and slow in the morning, stretch and explore different areas of the body that might need to wake up. I hope you will enjoy it and you will uh, take a journey with me. We are gonna be maybe 15 minutes into the practice and that will be it. Fast practice, you can always repeat it so you can replay the video. And we'll start slowly with a few breaths before we even move the body. So I would invite you to take a big inhale and a big exhale. Close your eyes. And if you are in a room, imagine you're outside surrounded by water. By a breeze and a gentle sunshine all around your body. Take another inhale and let all air out through the mouth. Exhale, grounding through the seat bones. Feel your legs crossing the crown of the head long. Enjoy another breath in through the nose. Seal the lips and let air leave the body through the nose. Take another big inhalation and start gentle circles from the neck. So enjoy a movement from the neck, forward and back. Looking to the left and to the right, waking up in the upper body. And as you reach the center, take the palms to the sides and up. Take a big inhale, look up. Take the palms forward, exhale, folding at the space in front of you. Left ear to the left shoulder, right ear to the right shoulder. And as you sway left and right, feel the fingertips growing long forward and the head dropping half. Draw the fingertips down onto the earth. Take the palms to the sides and up. Look up, spread through the pinky finger, spread through the fingers. Exhaling prayer to the heart center, connecting back to the source, back to the place where all balance starts. Breathe in and breathe out. Listen to the sound of your breath. One more breath. Opening the eyes slowly, taking the legs out of the way. Send the palms forward, extend the left leg back and reach through the left heel back. As if you are pressing someone away, look to the left, look to the right. Engage through the back toes. Activate the body it's very early in the morning. So you want to create core strength. Exhale, press, lift through the right knee and send the left leg back as high up as you can or maybe keeping the leg parallel to the mat. Both knees come down on the inhalation. I round up onto those knees. Palms are reaching, body opens, look up, exhale, and take yourself down towards the mat. Curl the toes again, inhale, and send yourself back, exhale. Send the right leg up into the sky, opening the right side of the body, right knee bends, heel into the glute. Right foot comes down, inhale, both knees down, Round like a cat and exhale. Tag the chin, point the toes back. As you reach in neutral, right leg extends back. Keep pressing through the right leg as if you're pressing someone away. Let the body explore here again into the neck. Tag the tailbone in slightly, tag the belly in. Press into the left knee and send the right leg up into the sky. Stretch, heel can reach higher or the foot can be, the leg can become parallel to the mat. Inhale. Breathe it out through the mouth, exhale. Both knees come down, take a big inhalation. Round like a cat and exhale. Curl the toes, lengthen through the spine, take a big inhale. Send that left leg back and take the left leg all the way up. Opening the left side of the body, curling into that left knee, lifting through the right toes. 
left foot comes down inhale both knees down exhale send the heels to touch the seat bones take the body up look up spread again through the fingers exhale palms go back tuck the tailbone in and reach it up into the sky inhale exhale Sit bones will sit down onto the mat. Look forward, curl the toes. You can stay up onto the tips of the fingers and walk slowly the body forward. Uttanasana, forward, forward. Halfway up for an inhale. Left foot steps back, left knee comes down onto the mat. I like to keep this blanket to prop the knee onto the earth. And I interlace the fingertips back and I open the chest, gazing forward and up. Sink it forward. Press into those back toes. If you want to release them, eventually they can release. Take the left hip forward. Take the fingertips at the back. Inhale. Exhale. As you open through the front of the body, heart center, bend the elbows, spread the fingers. And exhale. Let yourself fold over the straight right leg and back. Right knee bends, take a big inhale. Leave the left knee off of the mat, grow into a low lunge. Spinal twist to the right, one breath. Turn the ears back, gaze up into the ceiling. Find the sky, find the breeze, close the eyes, turn a bit more, and exhale, take yourself back down to the earth. Left knee comes down, right knee follows. Moving into a puppy dog, palms extend forward, toes turn back, forehead reaches down onto the mat. You can stay here strong. My knees move under my hips. So you make sure the distance between the knees are enough to support your hips here. You take a big inhalation. The puppy pose, hips stay over the knees, body extends forward. You can drop the elbows onto the mat. Bring the big thumbs and fingertips touch. So I call it the Yoni Mudra. And pressing there into the mat. Allow the elbows to be forward, allow the forehead to come down and send that left leg again up. This time bending the knee and extending point and flex. Left knee comes down, right leg extends back. You can point and flex. Back onto the mat, both knees down, press into the palms, find the downward facing dog, stretching through the back of the legs. Let the crown of the head heavy. You can come high up onto the tips of the toes. You can bend one knee and bend the other. Big breath in, let it out through the mouth, exhale. Knees are gonna find the earth. Let the body slide forward. Open through the chest, inhale for a cobra. Look to the left and look to the right. Feel those steps of the feet connecting towards the mat. So you feel the top of the foot, including the pinky toe, rotating outward. Open the chest, roll the shoulder blades back. Exhale, find your way down to the ground. Two more like this, waking up into the spine. Inhale, open. Exhale, let it go. And again, inhale, open body, explores that opening. Exhale, and let it go. Forehead will touch the earth, fingertips come at the back. I'm going to interlace, opening the front and the back of the body. Explore that, lengthening through the toes. Let the gaze be down towards the mat. Find the palms under the shoulders, take a big inhale, rounding and exhaling. Take that right knee towards the left wrist and let yourself come towards the mat. Left leg will extend to the left, right heel is going to come in. You can open more, or maybe you can take that leg and closing the space between the legs. You don't want to force it. Let's take a spinal twist. Grab in front of the knee and inside of that left leg. Open the chest, look up, inhale. And when you're ready to exhale, find that neutral spine. Roll the shoulder blades back, spread the fingertips to the side, and start rotating back till the right palm can drop back, and the left palm will grab the right knee. Gaze and look back. Center on the inhalation. And inside of the left leg, bow there. Press through the heel, turn the toes towards the face. Back of the leg is waking up. I'm walking it all the way forward at the space between the knee and the leg. Inhale. Exhale. Chin will tuck into the chest. I take a big inhalation. Right leg extends to the right. Left heel comes in. 
Make sure your heels are supported if you are on the ground. Lengthen again through the spine. Take a big inhale. This time I'm going to take a spinal twist into the right. Take a big inhalation. Find your center. And a spinal twist into the left. Back to the center. Inhale. Turn to the left and exhale. Use your breath out to explore the exhalation, turning the spine. If you are forcing it back up, inhale, let the crown grow long. And exhale, turn the body. Through the center on the inhale. And I fold inside of the right leg, exhale. Make sure your movements are small, slowing down the movement, lengthening through the left palm. Breathe, breath in. Long breath out. Walk it to the center, again lengthening at that space. Press again more through that right heel. Keep the seat bones back, connect both seat bones down toward the mat, drop the head. And let your whole body rise up. As you cross your leg, one foot can come in a half lotus or you can take an easy pose with one foot forward, the other foot in front. Sukhasana. Find the easiness in that sitting. Let the palms open up into the ceiling. Feel the belly rising, chest expands. Maybe the palm comes on the belly and chest. Connect to the sounds around you, the sounds of your breath. And allow the exhalation to wash away all the stress in the body. Big inhale. Big exhale. Interlace the fingertips behind the back, tuck the chin onto the chest, pull it forward. And allow the elbows to move back, looking and opening up. When you're ready, release the palms onto the knees and the legs behind. Find your way back into the all fours. Curl the toes under, find a downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, one knee and then the other. Step the right foot forward, let the left knee come down. Anjaneyasana again, left side, opening the chest. I'm going to leave from that. I take a big inhale. I drop the left heel onto the mat. I let the body bend into the right. Then I'm going to lift it up, curl the toes in. I exhale and I fold the space between the legs, letting the head heavy, swaying the body left and right. You reach it back up. You're keeping the palms back, or you can release the palms onto your hips. Left heel goes to the left. Left toes turn. Inhale. I take the body into the left. I exhale. You can extend through the right arm. And you're ready to release on the mat. Right knee comes down. And the palms are going to go back for Anjaneyasana, opening the chest. Second side. You can release the back toes. You can tuck the chin onto the chest. Fingertips move forward. Back of the toe curl. Take a big inhale from that low lunge. Walk the body to the center. Turn the toes under and expand the palms forward, just like you've done in sitting. Head becomes heavy. Inhale. Exhale. Fingertips under the shoulders. Moving the body into the right. Bend the left knee slightly. Place the left knee onto the mat. Send the right knee back. Curl the toes under and find yourself into a downward facing dog. Inhale forward, plank pose to Chaturanga. We'll do this flow two times, waking up the body. Cobra upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. And again, inhale slowly forward. This time you slow down, so it takes your whole exhalation to come back down, parallel all the way to the mat. Cobra upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let the feet separate, let the palms walk towards the feet. You can grab under the heels, you can grab the big toes, take a flat back length and look left, look right. And exhale, fold. Inhale, offer the heart forward, big inhalation. Exhale and bow. Tuck the chin into the chest, round it up. You can take it up into the sky, palms can stay to the sides, gaze can move up. You can reach through the palms up, inhale, take it down to the earth, exhale. Offer the heart forward, big inhalation. 
exhale and fold. Palms are going to walk forward. Let the left knee come back down onto the mat. Send the right knee back. Make one circle into that right hip and step the right foot outside of the right palm. The whole body moves forward. You can stay here and open the chest. You can explore, explore a gentle twist to the right. Center inhale and send it back and exhale. Find the child's pose. Toes can be pointing back, big breath in, long breath out, empty the body of the breath. Send yourself forward. Make sure your wrists are under the shoulders and the knees are under the hips. Left knee moves into that left hip, left heel lifts, left hip wakes up. Take a big inhale and step the left foot outside of that left pinky and exhale. Open that left knee to the left. You can take a twist. Sometimes I feel I need a release. I gaze back. I stretch my right quad. Exhale, left palm comes back down. Chin tucks towards the chest. Stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Moving the hips left and right for release. You can curl the back toes. Send that left knee back. Keep the toes curled under and press it back. For a child's pose, stretching the back of our feet. Move the hips left and right. Upper body can walk to the left. Look to the left and let the right ear drop down to the mat. To the center, inhale. Upper body can walk to the right. Let the left ear drop to the mat. Exhale. I'm reaching for my center. Take a big inhalation. Walk the palms back. Sit on your heels. Let the whole upper body reach. Open through the chest. Let the upper body even more heavy so you can tuck the tailbone in and curl yourself. So the whole weight of your body sits on those heels. Back of the feet are getting a stretch. So you really want to feel it here. The whole upper body moves back. You can take the fingertips back. Inhale and exhale. You can take the arms back and look up. Take one more breath where you are. All the way down towards the earth. Let the palms touch. Take a bridge pose. Tuck the tailbone. Inhale. Lift it up into the sky. Exhale and wait there. Make sure you are connecting the feet properly to the mat. Hip width apart. Knees drop to the mat. Separate the feet. Enjoy a spinal twist. In any variation, you can let the legs move left and right. And take the extra twist. You can take the knees into the chest and drop the knees to the left, look to the right. You can even extend the top leg, two breaths. Slowly and gently to the other side. Knees to the right, look to the left, two breaths. And extend the top leg. Reach it back at the center. Take a big inhale. Knees into the chest, forehead to the knees. Exhale. Both legs up. Open the legs. Grab the inner thighs. Take that prayer between the legs. As the legs release forward, send the palms up and over. Stretch your body. Prayer returns at the heart center. Let the feet touch the mat. Bend the knees. Let the knees apart. Feet together. One palm on the belly. One on the chest. Letting yourself move towards the final pose. Melt the body, tailbone, sacrum, shoulders down into the mat. Allow an inhalation through the nose and an exhalation out through the mouth. Let the mouth and the jaw soften the breath, let the body become heavy down onto the earth, don't hold back, just let it go, let your day start, you can continue by sitting here enjoying your final relaxation,
May your day be extraordinary. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.